Good morning guys. Welcome to my March orchid update. And this is what you're seeing here is a three blooms of my gorgeous BLC Xinyang Willet number no. nine Katlia. Okay, guys. She's fragrant. And she also have another sit Oh, buds in there it's full it's almost coming out it's um it's probably another three three buds inside this sheath right here just like this one this one she's been blooming for a week and it's still looking fabulous look at that the background is so bright that's why it's i use this one in in, in this angle I just watered here. I mean her. She's she's wet. Look at the the side shoot right there. When this one, this shoot's gonna grow, grow out like that, and then there's another one and another total in three. I will just like chop it off and transfer to a different basket. I already have that plan in my head, guys. So everything's gonna work out for this cat, Leah. Isn't she gorgeous? Yes. Oh boy. I got a sticky sap <laughs> in my hands because this one she produced a lot of that sweet sap right there for the ants. Sweet, I think. Yeah. And here is my yellow butterfly. It's still in bud. There's another one, yellow butterfly bud, and that's the baby of my um, Signu this Taiwan gold orange. It's getting bigger and bigger, guys. Can't wait to bring that outdoors. Yeah, it's still very cold um, at night, so I have to wait until like maybe mid spring or late spring to take them out and clean the backyard and put some shade cloth in the pergola. So. We'll see. And the most that I just left that in that thing, in that vase, is still growing and growing. And so far, there is no cakey on that. The, my experimentation in there, of the um, Palanopsis and Fluorescence, so that didn't really work. So I just left it in there. It's still alive. And this one there, this beautiful butterfly. So, the orange one is good, beautiful. She's starting to open. Yeah. This is my um, Psychopsis Mindenhall Hildos. And there's another one there. Yeah. This is the um, Monirara Millennium Magic Wedgecraft. And look at the bloom. Yeah, still there. And underneath that one, it's resting on the my sensation African violets. Look at that. I can't even move that anymore. It's just right there, resting on top of that. She love it. Yeah. And this beautiful miniature fowl just lost one of the the first bud right there, but it's still pretty. I really really love the coloring on this one. Yeah. And my big big lip fowl, look at that. It's still beautiful. They last longer so. Don't have to worry about this bloom. And that's my sherry baby spike. It's getting longer. I was so surprised that this one even bloomed. It's still indoors, you know. This is the second blooming here inside. So, one. This one is getting longer and longer. I can tell they can't wait to go outside already. 
And I can't wait for them to go outside so that I can free up this table again. This is my African violet. This is my Maui. So huge. I just let my African violets grow wild like that. They're not for like outdoor show to be judged. So it's only for me. And <laughs> look. <laughs> I planted this up. Uh, um Asian squash seeds that I put in there last week and they already grow and they're very leggy. <laughs> they're looking for the sunlight, that's for sure. Uh, and let's take a look at my Christmas cactus or Slumbergia, something like that. They are still blooming, guys. On and off blooming. Look at that from the top to this one right here. There are some blooms right there. Buds. More buds. Especially towards by um by the window. They've been blooming like crazy in there. Look at this case. I but I am not complaining. This is like very, very, very happy. Happy plants right here. I honestly don't even like giving them a special care guys. All I know is just like when they're dry, I just give them water. And then um, they get a, uh, a chill in here because my husband keep turning off the furnace. So they get a cold chill, cold snap. That's what I'm trying to say, a cold snap. So look at that, all buds, bud, bud, bud. But but buds, buds everywhere. See by the by the window. They've got a lot of spent flowers in there. I got so much to look at in here guys. And over in this corner my African violets are blooming. Those the one over there. These are my oldest one over there. This one is new to me. I got I bought these leaves from the from Canada, the bloomlovers.com. If you want African violet leaves, go to their website and they have more, 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 a lot of different beautiful, gorgeous African violets. Yeah. Super pretty, and I have a kiki on my uh, dendrobium right here. So I transplanted here. These are the dendrobium anosmum kiki. I hope they're gonna grow fine for me, you know. And there's another mini fall, African violets and African violets in there. Got plenty of flower, guys. And that's my other Maui. I love Maui, so I propagated Maui a lot. Yeah. And that yellow cactus that's hanging there has been blooming like crazy as well. There's another buds right there coming. And then we can only see the back of that white pile. I don't want to turn it because it, it grow in that direction. It bloom that direction. So I don't want to disturb the humongous white phalaenopsis. Yeah, she's stuck. She just just gonna stay in that position for now. And now we are seeing here is my orchid room, our orchidarium. The fans off. It's it's hot in here right now because my husband just turned off the little heater because we dropped to um really cold temperature again last night and I feel bad for my uh, oh, he feel bad for my orchid so we turned it on. But I still got lots of blooms here. No. The red emperor is still holding its bloom. Got stuff in here. I'm gonna water them today. The big one, the cymbidiums. This cymbidium here, the buds are here. Let me see. Yeah, 
you can see the buds right there it's almost not it's not a big one it's not a big um spike but this one the dendrobium um supermodel platinum it just uh, just opened a new sets of uh buds right there let me move this when i open the door in in between this orchidarium and the kitchen oh my god i can smell it it's exploding with fragrance from here and i i know where that come from i can pinpoint the smell of that of that flower and it came from that cattleya in there there yeah This one's just been blooming for a couple of weeks and it got in cold in here. Sorry. She's so, supposed to be so big. Look at that. This cuddly, yeah. Look at that, guys. Wow. I need to water her too. My, um, Cherry baby in there. It's also have a spike right there. That's the red fantasy. And this one's still going. The red emperor. And the white one. It's still going. And I have uh, four spike on this pink bees. Oh, let me see. Yeah, the fourth one is brand new. It's still curl right here. That's the fourth spike. Yeah, this is my pink bees. This one's dry too, so I need water. The heater dries up. Mm, the spagnomose. It's crunchy. Uh, right now it's um 84. It's actually 84. Let me see, guys. Sorry about the shakiness. Look at that. There, trying to move slow here. There. Oh, you can't see. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys, but it's 84. And low humidity, though. Some of the older spikes and medium spikes are done. But this one, it's still hanging on. That one. And this one right here. As you can see, the one's in the top. It's in medium. Mm, my lighting is not good. I can tell. I'm sorry, guys. But that's still good. Just fully opened. But this one right here. It's so good. There's a lot of gaps right here. Because that's me. Every time I... Even though I dark so low right there. My hair still get caught in the buds. Because it's just right there in the hallway. I didn't. I never stake them. I I like to see like that, just natural looking. And this one over there too. Super gorgeous. The ones in the back, the, the first one to open the pink one is done. But I have a new cymbidium spike in there. Right there, guys. It's one spike of that cymbidium, the little pot. Can't wait to see the color of that one. Yeah, she's gonna surprise me because I, to be honest, I totally forgot what color she is. And my Hoya is doing well in there. It's dark, I'm sorry. And that one, my Easter cactus, guys, or spring cactus. It's loaded this year. It was blooming last year for the first time, and now this is the second year for this one to bloom. Look at that. Now it's going to be covered. Oh, the one toward the window, it started to open. But there's a lot of buds all around. Look at that. Yeah. This one's still hanging on to the blooms. And so is that one, the pink grace rabbit. Yeah, they'll have a lot of bloom to enjoy. And look at this, guys. She's always very beautiful. 
that's my hair right there. Oh. This is my the Dendrobium Oriental Butterfly, Oriental Smile Butterfly. It's a lot all around. Okay, guys, see? Gorgeous. And my my babies right here. That's a Kiki Bloom from a Dendrobium Kingianum. And this one here is covered with buds, but I think the the ones in the top is gonna blast. I can tell. It's, it's drying up. Yeah. But let's look around here. This one is still have um buds. Yeah, I just let them be like that. Super gorgeous color. And let's take a look in here. My white ones still. And the ones in the back. This Dendrobium Kingianum is really doing fantastic this year. It's the first bloom of this young plant. It was my Kiki from two years ago. And it's growing a lot a lot and it's flowering a lot I am so happy with this king yanum super fragrant too and I got a bunch of uh, buds in that dendrobium not opened yet yeah and look at that four buds on this baby very fat stem in fat inflorescence oh my god this one's a long lasting catlia it's my blc maris glory h and r i really love this catlia yes that one super gorgeous catlia bloom soon and this one guys my miniature Dendrobium Springbird Kurashiki. She smells good too. Yeah. There's a lot. This this bloom is not as massive as the last year. Last year was gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah. I tried to repot this baby, but in order to do that, I have to break the pot. It just won't come out from there. There's a lot of bloom in there too from the back there yeah gorgeous gorgeous dendrobium hmm. this one has opened beautiful dendrobium but a lot of them blasted yeah okay guys I think that's, a, that's about it. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day and stay safe. Bye now.